Hello guys, welcome back to Islands. Today outside is super hot, my AC is a maximum, so let's go and play some Islands. My name is Matt and let's dive into it. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to craft or create an industrial washer and how to set it up properly, step by step. So first of all you need a propeller, you need some blue sticky gear and you need some steel rod. In case you have some problems with the propeller, I will leave you a video here on top. Check it out. And guys, as usual, in case you like my content, be sure to like and subscribe. And in case you have some suggestions, write them down in the comments below. Uh, in case you need also some steel rods, be sure to add me on uh, Roblox and I will give them some for free. Maybe two or three I can give to you. Uh, the rest, if you don't know how to do, I will leave you another video here on top. How to get steel rods. And for the blue sticky gear, you just need to go to the slime island and uh, fight the mob, the slimes, the blue ones, and you know, uh, some of them will give you blue sticky gear. So now I'll show you how to set up the industrial washer, and I will show you for what are they for. Uh, I'll be I'll be doing the potato the, with potatoes. So the industrial washer is to wash your uh, vegetables, and you can use it for you know carrots or tomatoes or any kind of vegetables there is. And today I'm gonna be working with potatoes. So uh, let me just go and get. I think I have enough seeds. Uh, let me go and I need a you need an empty area to set it up. So let me just put out everything what I will be needing. So you need a plow out. You need um, conveyor belts. Uh, I think you need one or two. You need a coal totem. Uh, yeah, let's me. You need a let's say three by three or four by four. Or I think four by four would be enough. Uh, yeah, I'll make a five by four or five by three. I think that that's enough. Okay, uh, you plant your vegetables, whichever it is. I don't know. You can put carrots or potatoes, or I'll put potatoes for this video. Okay, and that will take a while to um, grow. So in the meantime, I'll be setting up everything. So. Uh, when you put your potatoes, uh, I'll put one more here. Yeah, okay. You need a totem. Uh, a totem, depending on which uh, which seeds are you planting, that totem you need. So in this case, I need a potato totem, and that's how you set it up. And I will need to go and make a conveyor belt. I don't have a straight one. I need a steel rod for a conveyor belt and uh, some iron ingots, I think. Uh, let me just find it. They change everything in the workbench, but there you go. Conveyor belt. One is enough. So this is how you set up. So you have your potatoes and your totem. After that you put a conveyor belt. There you go. And uh, you need a coal totem to put next to it. I will just get um, I'll just get an um, industrial chest so I don't craft one. I thought I prepared better for this video, but it looks like I didn't. So I'll just get one of one that they're laying around. So if you just put it like this without the industrial washer, it will work. But um, yeah, Jesus, it's gonna take a while for them to grow. Let me just go and grab some fertilizer to help out growth. Come on, come on babies grow, come on. And the reason why I'm showing you today uh, why how to get an industrial washer is because the next few days I'm gonna be making a video of, um, I'm gonna try to make a big crate, uh, crate maker, uh, but yeah this is a, a project that I have been wanting to do but uh, I will start two more it's gonna be maybe four or five videos to make uh, I'll make I don't know six five six floors of um, 
I think of carrots. I will make crates of carrots. So I have been following some. Um, I have been getting some ideas on YouTube, but I will make my own super fast. I don't know. I will try to make like five floors or of carrots falling down all the time. Almost like the one I have here, but it's gonna be a much bigger one. Uh, okay, let's go back. I think. Um, yeah, my potatoes are growing. I can just collect some flowers and put them somewhere else. In the meantime... Boom. Yellow one. There you go. Maybe they will spawn uh, another color. Yeah, my potato is gonna take a while. Uh, let me just go around a little bit. What do I do in the meantime? I'll collect the flowers and put them next to each other. This is how you breed flowers, by the way. Uh, there is a specific way to do it, uh, but for now I'll just put them like this next to each other in ho uh, hoping that they will spawn some uh, different colors. Uh, yeah, this is really taking a while. Yeah, I should get better prepared for the videos next time. Let me collect some more flowers. There, and I'll put this one there. There you go. And this one, picking it up. Up, come on, there you go, and I'll put it next to this one. I'll have to water them, but I will not be doing it now. Where is the flower? There you go. There you go. Okay, let's go and check on our potatoes. Still nothing. Oh my god, Jesus, they are taking a really long time to... Oh, they're almost, they're almost done. So, I want to show you what happens if you don't put an industrial washer. Um, but for this I need this to work. Come on, potatoes. Come on, potatoes. Grow. Come on, come on, really, why is it so slow? I'm just losing time here now. Nothing special. Come on. I should really get my um, totems updated. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Yeah, I'm just waiting here for the potatoes. Come on, please! Yeah, I don't even want to go around anymore, they're gonna... Any second now, they're gonna be done. But yeah, let's go around a little bit more. Yeah, see I have a simple crate packer. It's kinda slow, I want to make an enormous one that I will have carrots, in this case carrots, all the time. I want to create a massive one to get a lot of money out of it. Come on, let me just go and collect some gold and some uh, iron I have here. There you go. Then I have a lot of frogs on my island, uh, I'm just, I don't feel to catch them. Jesus, they're taking a long time. There, there, the one are done. Now my totem is gonna drop it any, any second now, any second. Come on. Please. Please! Here is my pool, and there you go. So, in case you don't put a machine, you will have some oily potatoes or oily vegetable. Each doesn't matter which one you, you put, it's gonna be oily either way. So, you have to wash them. And for this, is your industrial washer. You just connect it to your conveyor belt. And it does, and you put a chest there at the end. And it does work on coal, so you need a coal totem. You just put a cold totem here next to another conveyor belt, and now it's gonna start. Um, the coal is gonna generate power to the washer, and I will show you the process right now. Uh, dun, 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 dun. There, the coal will get. Now the the washer is on, and yeah, I already have some oily. See, tomato, potatoes, and they are getting out washed. So this is what is in, you can see here the process, why the potato fell down. Of course the potatoes fell down. Let me just put it back in. One, two, three, boom. Yeah, and this is how you wash your, um, how you set up your washer. So you can use your potatoes to feed uh, the sheep or whichever, uh, whichever, um, animal you have, 
or which are vegetable or to create crates or for any kind of other you can even do out of farm of you know food I make I have a carrot and a pizza out of farm and for this you do need a washer uh, just so they don't fall down no never mind Let me put here something so they are not falling down. In case your vegetable are falling down from the conveyor belt, just put some blocks next to it. It will stop falling and there you go, it's up. So the oily one gets inside, it gets washed and it gets in the chest. And that's all for me for today guys. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, I will start my uh, big quest for the crates and see you tomorrow. Ciao!